Welcome. In this video, we will draw orthographic projections of a hexagonal pyramid having side of base 25 mm and axis 50 mm. It is resting with one of its base edge on the HP and its axis is inclined at 30 degree to the HP and parallel to VP. Here, this solid is kept like this where one base edge is in the HP, axis is inclined to HP and parallel to VP. In its simple position, we will keep solid in this manner where base is kept in the HP and one side is perpendicular to XY line. Moreover, you can get true shape of the base in top view. Therefore, you have to draw top view first in which you can see one hexagon with one side perpendicular to XY line. So, draw XY line first. And in this, after this, draw one vertical line of 25 mm side. This, this base side is given 25 mm. Keep protector, take angle 120 degree. So this, here you mark one point, 120 degree. Now draw one line of 25 mm. So this way you get second side of hexagon. Similarly, this side also you keep protector. Take angle 120 degree this side. So this point is 120 degree. You can see remove protector, use scale and draw a line of 25 mm. In this way you get second side. Similarly, you will get another side. You keep along this line, this protector. So 120 degrees, this is 120 degree. Draw 120 degree here. You can see this line is 120 degree. Similar manner. You put your protector here and again draw 120 degree. This is 120 degree line and this length is uh, 25 mm. Remove this. Now join this final two points. So this will be your final side. Now join all the opposite corners. I have joined all opposite corners. In this way you get this apex O. And these are A, B, C, D, E, F are different vertices of this. Next, draw front view by projecting all the points you can see this base is kept on HP therefore this base will be visible as a line this base will be visible as a line on this XY line so first project all this so this is the this line is the base and uh, you can see F E D these three are visible points A B C are not visible so F E D I have written here and A B C here next project O uh, axis length is given 50 mm so draw one line from this projector from O projector draw one vertical line of height 50 mm so in this way you will get this point O dash now join O with now O is connected with all these vertices so join with all these vertices these are the slant edges of pyramid in this way you got uh, front view in its simple position now we have to tilt this pyramid in such a way that one base or uh, uh, one side of the base be kept in XY line. So uh, you can see that this point the, here you can see C and D. This represent actually one side. This side is CD. Similarly, this is point. This point is also representing one side. This side is AF. You can draw this shape again, keeping this point here in XY line or keeping this point here in XY line. So I kept CD in XY line. So I marked CD here in XY line. So in this way, uh, this side is kept in HP. Now we have to tilt this uh, such that the axis makes 30 degree with HP. So we have to make, uh, we have to tilt this in such a way that axis is making 30 degree from XY line. Now it is difficult to draw axis here because we have this point D dash. Uh, D dash O dash is not parallel to axis. This is parallel to axis this line, but this is not parallel to axis. So you cannot draw this line, but you can draw this line D dash F dash. This line you can draw because this line is perpendicular to the axis. This is axis. So this line is perpendicular to axis. So therefore, if you want axis to be inclined at 30 degree, then you can draw other line which is perpendicular to axis at an angle of 60 degree that is 90 minus 30 degree. In this way, you can draw this side DF which will make 60 degree angle. In that case, axis will automatically uh, will be in 30 degree. So we will draw this DF first. 
so for that i have taken angle of 60 degree and this length is equal to d dash f dash so mark this point mark this point this point is a dash and f dash this point this point you have obtained now you can get this point o dash by taking uh, f dash and d dash as center and length of arc equal to o dash d dash take that arc and draw two arcs i have drawn two arcs uh, f dash as center drawn one arc and then d dash as center drawn another arc both of length o dash d dash or o dash f dash both are equal so with using that length you get two arcs intersection point is o dash now join o dash with f dash and o dash with d dash these two sides i have drawn o dash f dash and o dash d dash now uh, mark this center point of this line so measure this length whatever length you are getting same length measure here and mark that point join that point with o dash so in this way uh, you have completed front, front view of this given pyramid here axis this is axis if you extend this this axis will make an, an angle of 30 degree which is give, uh, which is required to be drawn so in place of drawing axis 30 degree we have drawn uh, this base which is perpendicular to axis uh, with an angle of 90 minus 30 that is 60 degree in this way also you can draw now top view can be obtained by projecting all the uh, points i have drawn vertical projectors from all these points now corresponding horizontal projectors we will draw so from b i have drawn one horizontal projector it is intersect intersecting uh, vertical projector from b dash at here so this point is your b in this way you will get uh, projectors from a and c so you got this is A and this is C so these two points are ACE and from O I have drawn horizontal projector this is vertical projector from O dash so this point is your O horizontal projection projector from F and D then this is F and this is D so these two points should be F and D and projector from E and projector uh, vertical projector from E dash so this point is E so first of all uh, when you look from top uh, these are visible o dash a dash o dash f dash are visible apart from that all uh, all outer sides will be visible so we will draw outer side so i have drawn all outer sides with thick line because these are this must be visible lines and then o dash a dash and o dash f dash o dash a o a and o f this will also be visible lines once you have drawn you can see that c and d are not visible they are inside c and d here so when you look from top these are not visible so from c and d all the lines will be dashed lines or hidden lines so i have drawn all the lines uh, corresponding lines so you can see that uh, o is connected with all the vertices a b c d e f so o a, a b c d e uh, d e and f all uh, uh, all vertices it is connecting with all vertices all lines i have drawn similarly base this is this is base so this is all these lines also i have drawn so in this way i have completed uh, projection of uh, a hexagonal pyramid which is uh, whose axis is making angle of 30 degree from hp so if you extend axis that angle will be 30 degree and this axis is parallel this line is this is axis this is the center point of uh, base and this is uh, uh, this is top vertex so this line is your axis so this axis is parallel to uh, vp and uh, one side uh, one base side one one edge of the base uh, cd is in uh, cd is in hp so in xy line therefore it is in hp uh, 